హలో గాయస్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈకలవ్య ఎదురుగాన్ బై ప్యాషన్ అమాంగ్ ద సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ లెక్చర్స్ ఆన్ ఎయిర్క్రాఫ్ట్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద టాపిక్ థ్రస్ట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ కర్వ్ ద థ్రస్ట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ టీఆర్ ఫర్ ఎ గివన్ ఎయిర్క్రాఫ్ట్ అట్ ఎ గివన్ ఆల్టిట్యూడ్ వేరీస్ విత్ వెలాసిటీ వి ఇన్ఫినిటీ ద థ్రస్ట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ కర్వ్ is a plot of this variation and attains the general shape as shown in figure on x axis we have velocity v infinity on y axis we have thrust required tr steps to plot thrust required curve for plotting thrust required curve we need to calculate thrust required for various velocities and join them first step will be to choose a value of v infinity the second step will be to calculate coefficient of lift cl to calculate coefficient of lift cl we make use of the equation weight is equal to lift lift which is in turn equal to dynamic pressure into wing area into coefficient of lift from the above equation we generate the relation for calculating coefficient of lift cl density rho infinity is known from given altitude wing area s and weight w are known from aircraft data third step will be to calculate coefficient of drag cd by using drag polar equation coefficient of drag cd is equal to coefficient of zero lift drag or coefficient of parasitic drag cdo plus coefficient of lift induced drag cdi coefficient of lift induced drag cdi can be expanded as coefficient of lift cl square divided by pi g a r where cdo is parasite drag coefficient at zero lift that is 1 alpha is equal to 0 cdi is drag coefficient due to lift that is lift induced drag component e is asphalt efficiency factor ar is aspect ratio further we can express 1 divided by pi e ar as k with that coefficient of drag cd will be equal to coefficient of zero lift drag plus kcl square the fourth step will be to find the ratio of cl by cd the ratio is found by using cl value from step 2 and cd value from step 3 the fifth step will be to calculate the thrust required tr from the equation thrust required is equal to weight divided by cl by cd The thrust required TR obtained from step 5 is the thrust required to fly at a specific velocity chosen in step 1. In similar manner for various velocities the thrust required are obtained. If we connect all the thrust required points we get the thrust required curve similar to the one shown in figure. Observations the thrust required TR varies inversely with L by D. For minimum thrust required TR, L by D should be maximum. By substituting L by D maximum in the thrust required equation, the thrust required equation will get us minimum thrust required. That is, minimum thrust required TR is obtained when 
aircraft is flying at L by D max, usually L by D max is achieved with angle of attacks ranging between 2 to 5 degree. L by D is a measure of aerodynamic efficiency of an aeroplane, which implies maximum aerodynamic efficiency is achieved when thrust required is minimum. Please do like, comment and subscribe. We'll catch you again in the next video. Thank you.